Welcome in the first week of the recruiting roundup post signing day 2015. That's scout.com's Jason Jewell. I'm Jared Cohen. We bring the latest in Arizona high school football recruiting year round, not just leading up to signing day. We go right back into 2016 and look ahead to the next class. But before we do that, Jason, on this episode, we want to kind of evaluate some of the schools, the in state schools, and then maybe a couple out of state with what they were able to do bringing in in-state talent. So we're going to start right off the bat. Arizona State brings in three players from Arizona as part of their class, and the first one being one of the top quarterbacks in the state of Arizona. Yeah, getting Bryce Perkins out of Chandler High School was huge for them. Arizona State hadn't had a very good reputation of recruiting kids out of Chandler High School. Getting Perkins is huge, especially considering that uh, they're one of the top 2016 prospects. Chase Lucas is, is at Chandler High. Getting Perkins is going to help in that aspect as well. But they're getting a very good player in Perkins, a guy that's just improved dramatically since I first saw him as a sophomore as he continued to progress. He completed 75% of his passes this year, which is absolutely ridiculous. Now, he has a tough road ahead of him, as, as everybody does especially at quarterback. The Arizona State has Manny Wilkins. Uh, got Brady White to sign him as well. Perkins is willing to go in and battle for that spot. What I like about Perkins, if he doesn't win that job, I think he's athletic enough to play in the secondary or even play wide receiver. One of my favorite things about Perkins is he's a student of the game, too. Spends a lot of time in the film room, a very uh, unknown and underrated aspect about him. Good luck to Bryce Perkins. Going to be a tough battle for him. Two offensive linemen locally as a part of Arizona State's class. Yeah, you got to win games in the trenches, and they got two very good ones, guys I really, really liked, and Cade Cody out of Williamsfield and big Steve Miller out of uh, Gilbert High School. Now, Miller has already graduated from high school and enrolled early. I talked to Coach Rutt. He said the staff there really loves him, and some of the kids have even asked, is this a junior college player, which is, which is ridiculous that he hasn't even graduated high school yet. Cody's a guy that plays tackle now. I think he's going to end up moving inside. Very smart. He's above a 4.0 GPA. Can't miss on guys like that. So that's Arizona State's class. Now going to Tucson. U of A brought in four local players as part of their 2015 recruiting class, starting with the, the face of the group, probably Keenan Walker out of Chaparral. Yeah, definitely the crown jewel prospect. He's a four-star guy. Uh, plays left or right tackle. Could do either uh, at U of A. Very good player. Guy that I've gone on record multiple times saying that I absolutely love just because his fire is and how nasty he is. Towards ACL, the Under Armour All-America game, yeah, it's not a big deal, not an issue in my in my opinion, because most offensive linemen don't come in and play as true freshmen anyway. And the next player that we want to talk about is a player that missed all of his senior year, but Rich Rod said at his press conference on signing day that this is a guy that if he played his senior year, he could have been, been recruited by just about anyone in the country. That's Fitton Connolly. Yeah, the, the big D tackle out of Campo Verde, he got that early offer from U of A, committed, and then it was just seemed like a month later that he tore his ACL wrestling, misses and entire senior year and just had a U of A offer surprisingly but uh, he's a guy if he had played Rich Rod's absolutely right he would have been recruited by multiple uh, Pac-12 schools and schools from all over the country scout we ranked him as a three-star prospect and I think he has huge upside let's go all the way back to November of 2013 was the first player to commit to U of A for the 2015 class the final two two very good players one on the offensive line the other one as a defensive back Demetrius Flanagan the defensive back out of Marana Mountain View Nathan Eldridge out of Boulder Creek yeah you look at a guy like Flanagan transferred from Tucson High to Miranda Mountain View. Didn't play because of some eligibility issues, but he's an intriguing prospect, and he's tall and long, who could play corner, could play safety. Looks like U of A is going to gray shirt him. And then Eldridge is a guy that I absolutely love his upside. I was down at U of A's camp, saw him working as an offensive lineman. He'd been predominantly a defensive lineman prior to that, but was an all-state offensive lineman this season. And I think as he continues to progress, I think he does a good job for Jim Mahalchuk and the offensive line there at U of A. NAU for the second consecutive year. They've done this for multiple years, but for the second consecutive year, have brought in some of Arizona's best players, 11 in-state players as part of the 2015 class, starting with two that signed on signing day, first with Cameron Johnson and the other with Taylor Powell. I absolutely love what Jerome Sowers and his staff did getting those in-state players. You mentioned Cameron, you mentioned Taylor Powell. Those were guys that had FBS-level offers at one time. Then you turn around and look at uh, Jamison Pruitt is another huge prospect um, out of that class. And Derek Hall out of Tucson, a huge prospect out of Saguaro High School, a guy that I absolutely love getting those four all four had FBS level offers at one time. It's just huge for their program. Then I also like some of the transfers that they brought in. Kendall Taylor out of University of Washington, also from Hamilton High School. Leandre Vaughn from Glendale Community College. 
both very good, very, very good players. And then Larry McCord, a very good All-American linebacker out of Arizona Western. And there's even talks that Connor Brewer has been talked to from NAU too. So we'll see that class still is yet to be determined what it'll end up looking like. Finally, the last in-state school, Arizona Christian uh, for the second straight year. A ton of Arizona prospects. There's a few that really stand out that kind of have them taking the next step compared to where they were last year. Yeah, you look at players they got like Hewless Rose uh, out of Pinnacle High School. Very underrated, very, very good football player. Josh Cronk, Canyon Del Oro is a guy that can play offensive line or defensive line. I, I like his ability. And then Brady Cook, a very, very good pass-catching tight end, kind of fits into that system that Donnie Yannis runs there, was the leading receiver in the state for tight ends each of the last two years. So now, Jason, let's take a look at some of the outside of the state schools that have done a great job recruiting Arizona. Uh, maybe not just for the 2015 class, but maybe two or three consecutive years that have just done a phenomenal job. A couple schools that stand out to you. Yeah, first off, you got to look at Texas A&M coming into the state of Arizona, landing our top prospect each of the last two years. Last year, got Kyle Allen and Quaylen Cunningham, who both made impacts as true freshmen. And then they got Christian Kirk, the, one of the best players in Arizona's history. So applaud what Kevin Sumlin and their staff have done in the state of Arizona you know, at Texas A&M. And then there's another school, maybe one that's a little bit under the radar, that's done a fantastic job over the last couple of years, too. Yeah, Western Illinois, they're an FCS program, playing the Missouri Valley, and they've done a good job recruiting here, getting some of those under-recruited type guys. I got Elmondo McCoy out of Valley Vista, a guy that I really like, and wide receiver Justin Corbett out of Glendale Community College. But over the past few years, they've done a very good job of getting some of those guys. Aaron Diggs, a DB out of Millennium, Miles Spearman out of Valley Vista. You know, their defensive coordinator, Brian Ward, is an Arizona guy. He played at Apollo High School and Phoenix College, so he has ties to Arizona, and he's going to continue to recruit here and steal one or two prospects every single year. So this is us putting a bow on the class of 2015. Now it's into 2016 and beyond going forward for the recruiting roundup. We'll start getting into that next week. But until then, that's Jason Jewell of Scout.com. I'm Jared Cohen of Sports 360 AZ. This has been the recruiting roundup powered by Rock and Refuel Varsity.